So we've got this vector valued function, r of t is t comma t squared plus one. Notice here that the y value is what? The x value squared plus one. So in essence, this graph should be the same as the graph of y equals x squared plus one. Let's take a quick look at that to see if that's the case. So pulling up this app, x of t is t, y of t is t squared plus one, and z of t is zero. But this is just a two-dimensional thing. So clicking on the 2D thing, we can see that indeed, that is the graph of y equals x squared plus one. Now our goal here is going to be to find t of t and n of t. So t of t is the unit tangent vector. It is the velocity divided by the speed. That is relatively easy to find. What do we have here? The velocity v of t is one comma two t. The speed, what is the magnitude of that velocity vector? Square root of one times one plus two t times two t, or t squared. So putting all that together, what do we get for t of t? t of t is one over the square root of one plus four t squared and two t over the square root of one plus four t squared. And let's see if we can visualize this. So what would t of one be then? t of one would be one over root five, comma two times one, two over root five. That is the vector and where is it located so we can see it on our graph. What is r of one? r of one is one, two. So let's go ahead and add that vector to see if indeed that looks like the unit tangent vector for us or this vector valued function. So I'm gonna add a vector here. And the vector is of the form one over root five, two over root five. One divided by square root of five, two divided by square root of five. And zero in the Z direction. And let's make it red. And it's at point one, two or one, two, zero. So let's see if that appears to be a unit tangent vector. And up there, it looks like it, it is. It looks pretty good. I can zoom it out once. We want to see it a little bit more clearly. So a unit vector, you can see it's length one, right? You can kind of recognize the size of one by looking at those values, right? From zero to two, it's about half the length from zero to two. And it's certainly tangent to the curve there. So that makes us feel pretty good about our first computation. Now that one is relatively easy. The next one in terms of the definition is pretty challenging. So we showed that T prime was orthogonal to T. And with that, we developed a formula for the unit normal, which is T prime of T divided by the magnitude of T prime of T. So that's gonna take some effort. So we're gonna need to focus on t, taking its derivative and then finding its magnitude to compute n of t. So let's work on that. So here we go, here's our t of t. To find t prime of t, the first thing I've gotta do is I've gotta find the derivative with respect to t of that first piece. So what is the derivative with respect to t of one over the square root of one plus four t squared? So that's the derivative with respect to t of one plus four t squared to the negative one half power. Then using the chain rule, what do we get? So we have negative one half times one plus four t squared to the negative three halves times eight t. And then finishing that up, we get negative four t over one plus four t squared to the three halves. That one's not so bad. The next piece is a little bit more challenging. So we need to find the derivative with respect to t of two t over the square root of one plus four t squared. And to do this, we're going to need to use the quotient rule. So u is two t, u prime is two. V is one plus four t squared to the one half power. So v prime using the quotient rule, one half, one plus four t squared to the negative one half times eight t. What does that give me for v prime? A half of eight t is four t over the square root of one plus four t squared. 
Recall the quotient rule, u over v prime is u prime v minus u v prime over v squared. So then we'll use that here with our derivative of 2t over root 1 plus 4t squared. So the derivative with respect to t of 2t over root 1 plus 4t squared is u prime v, so 2 times 1 plus 4t squared to the 1 half power, minus uv prime, so 2t times 4t, 8t squared over root 1 plus 4t squared, all over v squared, all over v squared, so 1 plus 4t squared to the 1 half squared will just give me 1 plus 4t squared. Now this certainly is unpleasant, so let's go ahead and pull out our algebra skills to see if we can clean this thing up a little bit. This times this, getting a common denominator here of root 1 plus 4t squared upstairs will give me 2 times 1 plus 4t squared minus 8t squared all over root 1 plus 4t squared. That'll be the numerator part. This times this minus this times 1 all over 1 times that divided by what's downstairs? 1 plus 4t squared. So we're making progress with this. Then where do we go from there? Then we have 2 times 1 is 2 plus 8t squared minus 8t squared over root 1 plus 4t squared times 1 over 1 plus 4t squared. And all we have left upstairs is 2. And what I have downstairs is 1 plus 4t squared to the 3 halves power. So where are we? What have we done so far? Trying to remember we had t of t, and the goal was to find t prime of t. So the first thing that we did was we took the derivative of the first slot here. And then we had negative 4t over 1 plus 4t squared to the 3 halves. So if I'm doing t prime of t, that's what I'm starting with. So t prime of t is the derivative of the first piece, which we did up here, and have negative 4t over 1 plus 4t squared to the 3 halves. Comma. The next thing we had to do was we had to take the derivative of the second piece, the derivative of 2t over 1 plus 4t squared, which I have done on this page, which gives me what? Which gives me 2 over 1 plus 4t squared to the 3 halves. Now, we've done a lot of work, but guess what, friends? We're still not finished. t prime of t is not n of t. t prime of t is not n of t. N of t is t prime of t divided by the magnitude of t prime of t. So what has to be done? The next thing we have to do is to find the magnitude of this thing so that we can divide that by this to get my N of t. So to get the magnitude, I've got to figure out what is t prime of t dot t prime of t. Negative 4t times negative 4t is 16t squared. 1 plus 4t squared to the 3 halves times 1 plus 4t squared to the 3 halves is 1 plus 4t squared to the third. Plus 2 times 2 is 4. And the same thing here, 1 plus 4t squared to the third power. So putting this together, then where are we? We have 16 t squared plus 4 over 1 plus 4 t squared to the third power. A lot of algebra here, friends. If I factor a 4 out upstairs, what does that leave me? 
4t squared plus 1 over 1 plus 4t squared to the third power. And watch the math and magic happen. These two things will divide out so that I get what? I get t prime of t dot t prime of t is simply 4 over 1 plus 4t squared to the second power. But then the magnitude of t prime of t is the square root of that. Is the square root of t prime of t dot t prime of t. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of this thing is going to be 1 plus 4 t squared. Absolute value, really. But we don't need to worry too much about that. Okay, now how do we put all of this together? I need to take t prime of t divided by the magnitude of t prime of t to get n. So again, what's our rule? n of t is t prime of t divided by the magnitude of t prime of t. So let's collect the information and see where we are. So this is the information that we need. So I've got to divide these things. So let's divide these first guys. What's negative 4t? over 1 plus 4t squared to the 3 halves divided by 2 over 1 plus 4t squared. Negative 4t divided by 2 is negative 2t. Something to the 3 halves divided by something to the first is something to the 1 half. So that's just going to give me the square root of 1 plus 4t squared. And I'll take the second guy divided by this. So the second guy, 2 over 1 plus 4t squared to the 3 halves. divided by 2 over 1 plus 4t squared. What do we get? 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 halves divided by 1, 1 half power. Square root of 1 plus 4t squared. So these two guys are going to make up t prime divided by the magnitude of t prime. That's my n of t. So n of t is t prime of t over the magnitude of t prime of t, which will be negative 2t over root 1 plus 4t squared, comma 1 over square root of 1 plus 4t squared. Now let's see what n of 1 is. Using all this, what do we get? n of 1, negative 2 times 1, negative 2 over root 5, and 1 over root 5. And let's go back to our graph and see if we can see that unit normal vector. We'll take a look at the graph. We're going to add another vector, negative 2 over root 5. Negative 2 over square root of 5, 1 over square root of 5. And then 0 in the z direction, of course. Let's change this color to maybe green. And the starting point again was what? It was the same starting point that we had for the other vector, which was r of 1. So can I find that? That was the point 1, 2. So do we see the unit normal vector? in green. Notice it is perpendicular to the unit tangent. This is t of 1 in red. This is n of 1 in green. Notice the n vector points towards the concave side of the graph. And that'll do it.